Yo, what's good? It's your boy PB3G, and welcome to Blood You Heard the Networks. Happy New Year's, gang. Happy New Year's. This is my first video of the new year, 2023. And I figured I'd start off with some Black Panther Wakanda Forever content. I haven't talked about that in a few weeks, probably since the movies ended. So I want to get into some of that. Please, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And if you're a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, gang. Let's go. So there was a lot of talk leading up to Wakanda Forever about two Black Panthers. We saw, we thought we saw one in, hidden in the trailer, but that turned out to be false. If you're, uh, you know, spoiler if you haven't seen the movie, but <clears throat> there was only one Black Panther in the movie. Well, some recent news is coming out that there were supposed to be two black panthers so i want to get into that story read the article and give my overall thoughts at the end please if you're if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button turn on all notifications so you know when my next video drops so this is this report is coming from the direct and they're getting it from the empire podcast where uh wakanda fever star Letitia wright was on there she was speaking about all of this and so it says Wakanda Forever star Letitia Wright revealed that Marvel Studios originally planned to have both Shuri and Chadwick Boseman's T'Challa serve as the Black Panther simultaneously. When asked about her emotions putting the suit on for the first time, Wright looked back on it with uh, on it being a bittersweet moment while sharing that Shuri was always going to do it. She explained that she and Bozeman would have suited up alongside each other trying to figure out how to best defend Wakanda together. Now, this is the quote from Empire. I imagine there's a lot of weight attached to that suit for many reasons. Can you talk me through your emotions putting on that suit and stepping onto, onto set and what the reaction was? Now, this is Letitia Wright. It was bittersweet. Sure, he was always going to do it, but it was going to be done in a different way where her brother was going to be alongside her. Really explore that like the comic books, the ways that T'Challa and Shuri would be Black Panther alongside each other and try to figure out how to defend their nation. Wright understood the responsibility of this moment after Bo Bozeman's passing, even though she struggled with it, co with coming to terms with it, feeling extremely proud of what she accomplished. Now, this is uh, Wright again, but unfortunately, that's not how it panned out. I knew the responsibility, I knew the weight of it, but it was just bittersweet, something I struggled with a lot, but I'm extremely proud of myself, had great support. She specifically touched on being the first black uh, female superhero in the MCU to earn the success that Black Panther 2 has earned, sharing her pride in being able to open the door for future stars as well. But this is a quote but now we've come to a full circle of the film being out i'm just really proud of myself as a black woman being the first superhero that's a black woman in the marvel cinematic universe film to do those numbers history is being made as we sit here and i'm a part of it and that feels surreal and that door has just been open for another black woman to go on and do that so i'm just proud and i know my brother would be really proud of me too end quote now, even though Letitia Wright had to take on the challenge of being the Black Panther on her own in this sequel, it appears that she was going to have to play a similar role no matter what happened in real life. After seeing the bond develop between Shuri and T'Challa in the MCU, particularly in 2018's Black Panther, this would have added a new level of emotion and depth to their relationship as siblings as they would try to protect Wakanda in a post-Avengers Endgame world. While this plot didn't have the opportunity to be fully realized, fans saw how close Shuri and T'Challa were from start to finish in Black Panther 2, particularly as she learned that her hidden nephew was named after her late brother in, in the post credit scene. Now, Wright's journey will go down new paths as she fully embraces her place as Wakanda's leader, particularly as future movies pit her alongside some other heavy hitters from other corners of the MCU. After all, her powers and vibranium suit will certainly come in handy in Avengers, the King Dynasty, and Avengers Sequel Wars, as she's already rumored to be a part of the proceedings in 2025. So that's the report from the direct. So originally, before Chadwick Boseman's death, it seems like they were going to have two Black Panthers, like in the comic books, you know, where, you know, Shuri, you know, she took over the throne and T'Challa was cast out. He had to find his way back. Very similar. And it would have been interesting to see with the son dynamic because, you know, they've been trying to, like, if you don't know in comics, they've been trying to give T'Challa uh, a canon son for a long time. I think Jonathan Hickman uh comic book writer jonathan hickman recently spoke about this 
where he tried to give T'Challa's son in one of the recent uh, X-Men comic books with Storm, but Marvel wouldn't let them do it. So that, that's, just, that's just a little interesting tidbit to add in there. But I thought this would have been interesting seeing two black, having two Black Panthers in the MCU, Chadwick Boseman and, and Letitia Wright as the Black Panthers. I think that would have been dope having them both do it together, you know, and show up together, fight alongside each other each other together they had a tight bond in that first film and that bond was definitely missing in Wakanda forever you guys let me know in the comment section below what do you think about two Black Panthers in the MCU Did, do you think that would have been dope to see or do you think Chadwick Boseman was fine you know T'Challa by himself as the Black Panther was fine you guys let me know in the comment section below again happy new years to all you guys I hope you guys had a good start to the new year please subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications so you know when the next video like this drops it's your boy pb3g i holla